And now it's time for the Eliminator RC Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ryan from Eliminator RC. This week's tech tip, we're gonna take a look at slipper clutches. Well, your car has one, it's slipping, or it's locked up and you're blowing differentials, and you wanna know how to adjust it. We're gonna take a couple seconds here to show you quick tips. A slipper clutch is exactly what it sounds like. It's a clutch material designed to slip, usually on a disc in the car, to take some power away from the differential or the transmission, just to allow it so it doesn't have a shock on it all the time. If you're beating on your car and you want the max power, 90% of the time, you'll just go ahead and lock up your slipper clutch, which is fine, but you gotta make sure that if you don't wanna blow your diff gears, you do back it off a little bit. By backing it off, you may wear out your pads. You gotta have a give and take situation. On most two wheel drive trucks, like our Triple X SCT, the slipper's on the back on the transmission. This one's a double disc slipper. There's a pad on each side of the gear and it sandwiches the slipper between the gear. By adjusting the spring tension for tighter, for less slip, and looser, for more slip. This is handy for on loose surfaces like dusty conditions, so that the tires don't break loose, the slipper takes the shock out of the drive line. This one we have here is a little bit loose. We're gonna go ahead and loosen it off, plug in our car, and show you what it does. With the slipper loose, it allows the gear to spin on the shaft, not putting as much power down to the wheels, allowing a slower takeoff, so you're not gonna spin out as much. With a tighter slipper, it's gonna lock up, grab harder, and it'll be a little bit squirrely off of the launch. We're gonna go ahead and tighten it up and show you. Most manufacturers will have recommended settings in the manual for how to set a slipper. Usually they tell you to tighten it up till it's snug and back it off about a turn or half a turn. You gotta be careful you don't run it too loose because you may cause it to over rev the motor if you're using a nitro or an electric could spin some other parts in the drive line. Just be careful and make sure you use your discretion when adjusting your slipper. And it's also a handy tool to have against your friends when you're trying to race. I'm Ryan from Limited RC and that's your tech tip of the week.